Nicki Minaj. Jennifer, have you ever spoken to Nicki directly? I did in March of 2020. She called me and she said that she got word that I was willing to help them out in a situation that I didn't understand what she was referring to. Um, she offered to fly me and my family to LA. She, um, I turned it down and I told her, woman to woman, this really happened. And I hadn't spoken to her since. Hey y'all, it's me, Jenny. Real talk, New York. They got up in vanity. What a calamity. Them got the audacity. Them got the audacity. It's my birthday, so wish me happy birthday. Look at my dress. Cute, right? All sequins, all cute. Yay, it's my birthday. Okay, guys, so let's get into this. Today I'm doing two videos, right? In my birthday dress. Here we are. So let's talk about uh, Kenneth Petty um, and um, Nicki Minaj and the young lady who he assaulted when he was a teenager. Okay, so let's talk about that situation. Um, my standpoint of the situation, I believe her anger is directed towards the wrong person. After listening to the story, I understand she definitely was a victim the man did i'm not gonna say the exact number it will be either four or five years i don't remember you could always correct me in the comments he did four or five years for the crime all right so basically what happened was she was walking home from school the lady was walking home no not sorry she was not walking home from school she was walking to school she was going to school and he rolled he pulled up on her walking and he says hey where you're going so she turned around and said school Right, and then I, I guess I don't know the full story, but she, she felt something cold, <clears throat> something cold in her back. Uh, you know, a G U N place on her back. He proceeded to take her to uh, either the, the corner house near. I guess she was looking for the dollar van, so it must have been in Queens, somewhere in Queens, Jamaica. Um, and then um, he proceeded to take her into a house. I don't. She didn't specify if it was his house or not. And he proceeded to get on top of her and assault her. And her story sounds real. It definitely seems like it happened. I'm not taking away what happened to her. But on another note, uh, the young lady, uh, she I know she's hurt. And it's, it's that type of assault is something that you keep with you for the rest of your life. That's something that you really don't get over. That's something that's in the back of your mind and it kind of affects your relationships and it kind of make you not trust me. It's, it's, it's a very, very traumatic experience for her. But again, I believe that her, uh, she was directing her anger towards the wrong person. And she's not angry, her hurt. I wouldn't say she's angry because she didn't come off as angry or bitter. She did not. She come off as a very hurt woman. And this it definitely did happen. And uh, I believe that uh, she is taking it out on the wrong person, which is uh, Nicki Minaj was not there. She was not a part of that. She did not coerce that man to do those things. And I believe that Nicki's career is suffering because of the fact that um, a lot of people are judging her. Let me tell you something. People don't like Nikki. Let's let's just keep it 100. And there's a lot of reasons why Nikki, people don't like Nikki. People don't like the truth tellers. People don't like people they can't control. People don't like people that they, that they think for themselves. So people, Nikki's not really loved except by her fans who ride or die for her. Again, people don't like somebody that you cannot, Nikki is a type of strong-minded woman that is very rare. A lot of women, they're weak-minded. They don't really stand up for themselves and they're easily to be manipulated and controlled. And Nikki is not that type. And also she has a 20-year career. Her 20-year career has nothing to do with this woman. You understand what I'm saying? And I believe even though the woman is a victim, she definitely wants money from Nikki. Okay, sometimes you got to realize that human beings are human beings. They still have greed in their hearts. They're still greedy and they still, when they when I, um, they see money, their eyes pop open and never underestimate what people would do for money because I don't understand how is that harassment because she clearly stated, she clearly stated that Nicki Minaj 
called her one time in 2020 in March, right? Then she's saying, then she continues on and saying her associates, their, their associates, how do you know that Nicki Minaj was behind that? She 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 um contacted her one time in 2020 in March and she said, woman to woman, did this happen? And she said she never spoke to Nicki after that. She said, woman to woman, did it happen? So I'm figuring if somebody called you one time, you could correct me if I'm wrong, that is not considered harassment. If somebody called you multiple times, I would say that is more considered harassment. And I believe that uh, this story would not have been public if uh, Kenneth was not married to Nicki Minaj. Uh, he did do his time for that crime, but he has to continue to register as a sex offender. And the fact that you have to continue any state that you go to, you have to register as a sex offender. Um, and with sex offenders, sometimes you're not able to pick up your own children from school. So uh, also you're not able to pick up your own children from school and Nikki travels all over. So she probably want her man to be able to travel all over without having to go through the hassle of registering as a sex offender whenever he leaves, his, leaves from state to state. So she probably was like, hey, let me call and use a little bit of my influence and try to coerce her and say, hey, try to be nice and say, hey, you know, we'll give you this, we'll give you that. Um, you, I, I want to fly your family out to California, you know, I'll show you whatever, give you a good time. But I guess after that initial conversation that Nikki had with the lady and she, uh, there was no other contact. So that's one time Nikki contacted that woman. So I would like to know, how is that a harassment? Yes, Kenneth deserves the punishment he got. He did his time. But how is that harassment for Nikki calling you one time? I feel like people should place their anger, sorry, their hurt where it belongs. I feel like, yes, she contacted her one time and I could understand why she contacted her. They do have a child together. And maybe because of him being a sex offender, he will not be able to pick up his child and do other things that rest register sex offenders are not able to do. Should someone uh, suffer forever for their past mistakes if they were a teenager and they already do the crime? Let me know right now. He was a teenager. I'm not taking up for him because he was wrong and that woman is hurt for life. I'm not taking up for him. But... How long should someone pay for a crime that they already served time for? And they already served time for that crime, number one. And uh, they did it as a teenager. Is there, you know, that's one question. I don't, I don't really know how to really frame it. That's one question. I want you guys to interact and answer. Let me know. I want to know about that. And then another thing I want to know is, uh, was Nikki wrong for contacting her? I don't think she was wrong for contacting her one time. And does she have evidence that it was people that Nikki set up to contact her at thereafter? How you know it wasn't him? How you know it wasn't him trying to get people to contact her after to ask to uh, offer her money? What evidence is it that she sent people to contact her after? Remember, she contacted Nikki contacted the lady one time. It clearly states that in the video. It definitely clearly states that in the video. So I want you guys to interact with this video. Let me know. Should he still be paying for a crime that he did as a teenager? Number one. I know this woman is hurt. She deserves her story to be heard. She de deserves her safety. She deserves all that. But I don't think she should be suing Nikki. Uh, Nikki also offered her $20,000. And maybe if, if you're suing, Maybe the $20,000 wasn't enough. Maybe she had people coercing her, telling her, hey, that's Nicki Minaj. That's Nicki Minaj. You could get millions. Because one time, that does not, in nowhere that consider, you can't go to the police station and say, I'm being harassed. And then they say, how are you being harassed? The person called you one time. You, you're not going to have any, that's not going to hold up. No one's going to get arrested for calling you one time. Yes, he. if she wants to do a wrong, uh, a lawsuit against Kenneth Petty, fine, let her. But I don't understand what Nikki has to do with it and what harassment did she do 
And people are going to jump on the bandwagon and say, oh, she's wrong. She could be wrong. I'm not, my, my opinion is not 100%. She definitely could be wrong. But she did not make that man harm her, harm that woman. She was not there. She did not su supply the weapon. I think a lot of people are looking for a way. She has a lot of enemies in the media because her of her mouth. She's so outspoken and she stands up for herself and she's so honest. Especially that recent thing with the, um, with the whole, you know, the whole vaccination situation. Um, she definitely has a lot of enemies. And I, I, when you're successful like that, people will, will do anything to take you down. And I understand guilty by association, but she was not around him at that time. I don't see why she's suing Nikki. I think she should be suing Kenneth, honestly. Let me know if you guys agree. Um, being with this man might have been a bad career choice for with uh, for Nikki, but who am I to judge? Is it, you know? And you know the funny thing is with this guy, with, with, with her story, what was a bad, what bad part about the story? What I didn't like? After he assaulted her, then he started going on the chest, beating on his chest. I'm the man. I'm the man. Like a pure narcissist sociopath. I don't know, man. I don't know. If, let me know what you guys think about this situation. Should Nikki be getting sued? This is, Let me know. And I want you guys to subscribe. And thank you so much for helping me grow my channel. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Let me know if you think Nikki should be getting sued. Because she called once. She admittedly saying that Nikki called one time. And I don't think one time is harassment. And then the, you know, I don't know, guys. I'm not going to say no more. But then, you know what? You know another thing I was going to say, too? One time is not harassment. But there's another point that I wanted to make in this video. All right, so how you know Kenneth wasn't the one sending people to try to clean up his act? And they, he wasn't getting into it at home with Nikki. And him and Nikki wasn't bumping head. She's probably saying, oh, look what happened. Look what you got me into. Look at this drama. She probably called once and the lady said no. And then she said, forget it. You handle it. You handle it. It could have been that. But I feel like she shouldn't be going to hell for another man's sin. I don't think so. I don't think she should be going to hell for another man's sin. Anyway, guys, please give me your opinion on this topic. This is a hot topic. Real Talk New York with Janik. Big up yourself. Lodge up yourself. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Should Nikki be getting sued or should Kenneth be getting sued? Is she responsible for all of that? Is she called once? Is calling once, um, is calling one time uh, considered to be harassment? Anyway, guys, subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Real Talk New York with Janik. Okay, bye. Bye, guys. Wish me happy birthday.